Breaking, FBI just confirmed Comey is guilty after a damning admission he made about Hillary. For the past couple of years, the American people have wanted the truth about Hillary Clinton and the emails she deleted on her private server. Clinton has claimed for quite some time that these emails were not relevant even though the evidence proved differently. So, the case of Hillary Clinton's emails began to fade away, but then at the last minute the investigation was opened, and the American people believed that justice would finally be served. Former FBI Director James Comey took the case pledging to get to the bottom of these emails and if Hillary Clinton broke any laws. However, shortly after the investigation commenced, it all ended with Comey declaring that he could find no wrongdoing regarding Hillary Clinton and the deleted emails. A year later, documents were released showing that Comey had already decided that Clinton was innocent before even concluding the email investigation. And now, the FBI confirmed this is exactly what happened. The records show that back on May 2, 2016, James Comey sent an email to Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, Chief of Staff and Senior Counselor James Rabitsky, and General Counsel James Baker. In the subject line of this particular email read mid-year exam, and even though the email has been deemed unclassified, the majority of this communication has been redacted. What the entire email says is anyone's guess, but it cannot be right considering that James Comey found Hillary Clinton innocent before completing the investigation into these deleted emails. Here is more from Newsweek. In documents it released on Monday, the FBI confirmed that former FBI Director James Comey drafted a statement about the conclusion of the Hillary Clinton email investigation months before interviewing Clinton. On Monday, the Bureau also released a response to the May 2 email. Rapitsky sent the response, dated May 16, 2016, to several colleagues, Peter Stersog, Jonathan Moffa, Baker, Trisha Anderson and E.W. Priestap. He copied McCabe and David Bonich, the associate deputy director. In the email, which is marked unclassified, Rapitsky wrote, Please send me any comments on this statement so we may roll into a master doc for discussion with the director at a future date. Thanks, Jim. The FBI titled the release drafts of Director Comey's July 5, 2016, Statement Regarding Email Server Investigation. That title refers to a press conference Comey held in which he said the Bureau had completed its investigation into Clinton's use of a personal email system and that it would not be recommending that the Department of Justice pursue charges, though Clinton had been careless. The Bureau interviewed Clinton on July 2, 2016. The release confirms information that Senator Chuck Grassley, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and Senator Lindsey Graham, a member of that committee disclosed in a letter to new FBI Director Christopher Wray in August. The senators wrote that they had learned from interview transcripts released by the Office of the Special Counsel that Comey had drafted the statement in advance. That office is separate from the efforts of Justice Department Special Counsel Robert Mueller. The Senate Judiciary Committee is reviewing Comey's conduct as Director and President Donald Trump's firing him in May. FBI and Justice Department analysts are divided on whether Comey violated rules or broke with tradition by drafting the statement prior to interviewing Clinton and other witnesses. To me, this is so far out of bounds it's not even in the stadium, Chris Swecker, who retired from the FBI in 2006 as Assistant Director for the Criminal Investigative Division and Acting Executive Assistant Director for Law Enforcement Services, previously told Newsweek. That is just not how things operate. It's built in our DNA not to prejudge investigations, particularly from the top. Ron Hosko, who served as an assistant director at the Bureau under Comey until 2014, has told Newsweek that drafting statements is not unusual, but only if the drafts remain internal and avoid coming to conclusions. When you have a significant case that is in the public domain and certainly in the public's interest, in the public's eye. I think that it could be expected that both the FBI and the prosecutors that they're working with are beginning to draft a statement of facts that could be used later, as the case is developing, he said. I think the content of the statement is going to be important. Did it purport to essentially acquit her actions way prematurely, or was it simply a running statement of what they knew? But Matthew Miller, 
a former spokesperson for the Justice Department, tweeted in September, the decision is never made until the end, even when there's a 99% chance it is only going to go one way. It appears that former FBI Director James Comey needs to be brought in and questioned by the acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe for this email. There is no reason that Comey should have made any early judgments about the Hillary Clinton case before concluding a thorough investigation. However, this is the Clintons, and they have a long history of committing criminal deeds without any consequences. Hopefully, that will change soon and justice will finally be served once and for all, and for all.